Alright guys, so I'm your first match here against AKA Arfati. So I'm pretty sure this guy's running um Lava Skarmy Fireball. Like he's like he has like I've faced him before. Pretty sure he has no miner, so this definitely is my matchup. I'm actually gonna go Dark Prince. And what a coincidence, he goes Lava second play. Am I so surprised? I'm not really. So just gonna support this uh, Dark Prince with the miner. I guess he goes for minions, so it's a pretty good trade on his end. He went lava and then he went uh, minions just to clean up my troops. So depending on what he's gonna do, I might rocket this. He looks, looks like he's not gonna do anything, so go for Tesla first on the lava, and then just rocket his loon since he just had since he decided to go opposite lane. So like I told you before, this guy, I mean, this is a really easy matchup because again, he has no uh he has no miner. The only real issue is that he might cycle to two lavas, but then again, I do have Tesla, so I should be able to cycle to two. Like if he cycles two lavas, then I should definitely be able to cycle two uh two Teslas. So, so doesn't go Dark Prince in the back here. He hasn't really like chosen lane to go lava in, so he could push in the same lane as I do. So he does go for Idra here, so let's see. Just go for... I might wait a little bit because I know he's going to play Skarmy, but I'm not sure where. So just, unless he does, Yeah, it looks like he's just going to go Skarmy. Not onto my Dark Prince, but in a way to like where I couldn't predict it. Because I knew he was going to play Skarmy, I just didn't know when. So let's see, does he go for East Spirit and then Miner and then go for Skeletons to distract the Idrag. I know by doing this, it's going to force him to play Bomber or Minions, so I'm perfectly fine with that. He does have a bomber coming down. I think I'm still gonna apply pressure unless he decides to support this uh, lava with minions. I assume he's gonna fireball here, so I go Dark Prince right now. A right, perfect timing actually. He does go for Snowball Fireball just to kill my Tesla, so I'm pretty sure this Dark Prince will connect. He does play Skarmy, so I'm actually gonna go for mine right away. But luckily, my E Spirit does a good chain and basically kills the Skarmy, so he's gonna force him to play minions. And you can see that his lava is getting damaged to my tower. But I think for the trade that happened, I think I got the better end of it to be honest. So I can just go delivery to kill this lava hound. I will probably just go dark punch right now to bring back at least one minion. And then he does go lava in the back, so just set, set up for Tesla here. I know he's gonna have to fireball this. It looks like he did misplace his bomber too. So as long as we defend this next push, I think I should be okay here. I don't think there's much you can do. Like 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 I told you this before earlier in the match, he has no uh miner, so let's see. I'm probably just gonna rocket this. And actually, going yeah, I'm going for East Spirit and going for Tesla. So I guess waiting with the rocket was a good idea because you see that I waited and I pretty much caught everything. And let's go for delivery just to clean up uh, his lava pups and then minions. So again, guys, this is a good matchup, and I guess just be patient because you see that I was patient with my rocket, and then he decided to play his loon in the middle, thinking I'll play my Tesla, and then I just got so much value with my rocket. So it's just forcing stuff. This should be GG. Pretty nice win against Lava. I'll definitely say, again, it is my matchup probably like 70 30. Because he did go Lava first play or Lava second play. But, anyways, I'll probably just see you guys in the next match. So, it looks like we found our next match here against uh, some Japanese player from Change White. Or, like, I'm pretty sure Change White is like a Japanese clan. Anyways, I'm going for Miner here. I'm not really too sure what he's running. Okay, he goes for Bandits. So, this could be like Mega Knight, could be Pekka. I think this clan usually runs Pekka, so I wouldn't be surprised. I'm gonna try to go for King Tower activation here. Gonna go for. Okay, never mind. He goes for, he goes for Battle Ram, so I actually just didn't go for a Tesla. Let's see. I don't. I'm probably just gonna let this Battle Ram go. He might pack a bridge if I do that, but I really don't want to overcommit anything else on a uh, Fortex or card. So it looks like he actually will go uh, pack in the back. Honestly, I can't really complain since I just wasted my Tesla, so I guess it was a like, decent play, I guess. So I really hope he doesn't have the Marcher variant because that'd be pretty annoying. But then again, he doesn't really have anything good to pressure. So he, gets, he does go for Ewis. So I can at least go deliver, delivery log on the Ewis and just to kill the P.E.K.K.A. He does go for Ghost. So I think I might just have to eat that Ghost. He does go for Bandits. But if he plays anything else on that Dark Prince, I'm definitely going to go with another one. So I don't think he's been good for this. Okay, looks like he's running the Minions variant. So my Dark Prince should get a lot of damage. Okay, looks like... Honestly, for what happened and for what I did, I don't think it's a pretty even trade. We write down 30 damage, but like I always tell you guys, never give up with minor control, especially since, since he's running P.E.K.K.A. minions. He doesn't really have a way of killing my Tesla, as long as I simp for it. I should be okay here, so this thing on mine in the back, he's probably going to P.E.K.K.A. Elis. It looks like he goes for P.E.K.K.A. once again. So I know he's like pretty low on Elixir, I think like I'm up 2 or 3 Elixir, so he's going for Tesla in the middle. I know he's not back to Bandit yet, or like he's a couple cards off, so let's see what he does. He might go like Ghost in the middle. So just gonna go for skeletons and see what he's gonna do. If he zaps, I'm probably just gonna East Spirit and then block my Dark Prince. I obviously want to keep my Tesla alive because I know he has uh, he has Battle Ram in hand. 
So again, just, I'm gonna go for minor here. It's gonna go ghost opposite, but I feel like by going minor, it's gonna force him to play something else. Looks like it does. Okay, luckily, double exterior is right around the corner. It's pretty good for us. So I can go skeleton in the middle, bring everything over. I honestly feel like if double exterior didn't come at that time, I probably would have uh, lost my tower or taken a lot of damage. So I'm probably just let that minions and uh, minions and uh, barbarian go, and just go uh, dark prince minor opposite since he just wasted a uh, peck in the back. I think by doing doing this, it's gonna force him to go offset lane, which is okay. I feel pretty confident in defending this push coming down, even though I only have a Tesla and he has a, a double lane push. But let's see, this can go for log here. Okay, the luckily battery is over my tower, so I can just go delivery to clean up the offset lane, and then now I have to deal with the full issue pick up my tower. So let's see, go for dark prince, go for skeletons. I need to cycle back to my delivery if I can. It actually, looks like I don't really need it. Just OP defense, I guess. So Tesla should clean up the minions. I'll probably go East Spirit for his Bandit. I think Bandit will connect to my Tesla for one hit, but I think it should be okay here. You guys can see that I got a lot of damage off the lane, and at this point, if I just defend his pushes, I think it should be okay Okay here. So let's go for Delivery, go for Log to be safe. This is going Miner in the back. I know he's playing to protect with Evis, which is fine. It looks like, yeah, Miner won't even get a hit, and he also goes uh, Bandit opposite, so I can go Skulls into the middle, and then go for Tesla. And I wouldn't be surprised if he does the same push again, just go Ghost, Bridge, and Battle Ram. This can play safer, guys. I literally just don't want to choke for any reason. So I'm gonna go for minor, uh, dark prince. But yeah, probably gonna do the same thing: poison and then zap. I just go for east spirit, and his battle run is pretty much dead. And then he's also laying my minor connect for so much damage. I think one more hit. So again, just be safe. Go with Tesla for the bandit. He does play ghost. Just go for minor. Just want to play it uber safe. Just uh, just make sure he doesn't take my tower. Looks like he will go battle ram, but I'm pretty sure he does at zero elixir. Let's so go for log. He's a closer poison. But at this point, you can't really have anything that'll cross my bridge or do enough damage. So I can just go for a rocket. And that should be GG. So you see how kind of easy it is to beat Pekka. It's got to be careful in single. And then double and triple gets really easy to defend. So I'll probably just cut to the next match, guys. Alright, let's look at our next game against another Japanese player. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is like Mamal. I think this is uh, Expo. I really hope he's not running like Ice Bow, because Ice Bow is a... Uh, a uh, matchup that I really dread. I really don't like it at all. So it doesn't go for minor. It goes for E-Spirit, so this could possibly be Expo still. Okay, let's see it goes for Valk. So I'm pretty sure, like, I've seen them all run, like, some weird variant with, like, Delivery, Rockets, Queen. So I wouldn't be surprised if it is this variant. So it doesn't go for Dark Prince. I don't think I'm going to play anything else. I just want to see what he has. So it looks like he goes for Queen. I think if he plays his Skeleton, then this variant doesn't have NATO. Okay, it looks like he's actually running Delivery. Honestly, I'd say it's a pretty good variant, but he is good with Expo, I guess. So, thank you for delivery on his queen. Like I always tell you guys, whenever you place a queen user, always go delivery the bridge, because then it'll force them to play their ability early, and you don't really have to deal with the queen. So, there's no minor in the back here. He does waste the East Spirit, so let's see. Yeah, it looks like he's running this variant with, like, cannon. Not really too sure why, but, you know, it's he is high with this deck, so I guess props to him. So I'm pretty sure this is my matchup, even though he has Rocket. So yeah, it looks like he actually, he's actually going to Rocket my tower. A lot of you guys ask me, like, like what do you do, Nate, if they, if they rock your, Rocket your tower? I honestly say that don't Rocket them back until, like, double or triple Elixir. Because, like, let's just say, like, right now, I decided to Rocket his tower when he Rocketed mine. He really just say for Expo Valk at zero Elixir. And I will just probably just not be able to defend. So always save your Rockets. Like, even if they Rocket in single, you should be okay. Because then again, you can just go for the minor chip. And then in double and like I guess early triple looks if they if they decide to rocket your tower, you can rock it back. Cause then you should have you should have like a fast enough cycle just to out cycle them, I guess. So you guys can see that we are up 400 damage and he does go queen opposite. So like I told you guys, I do have delivery for the queen, so I don't really have to worry about it too much. Just gonna go for a log and just go go for minor to apply pressure and then go del deliver the bridge. So he does go for expo here, so maybe a little bit careful. Looks like he's not going to pop his ability, which is pretty interesting, so does he go for Rocket right now? So honestly, I let the Expo connect, but he does place a Valk, so I feel like even though the Expo got 400 damage, I got the better trade from it, and you guys also see that he did it ignore my Miner opposite lane. So now we're in a huge damage lead, so as long as he doesn't catch my Miners, and he's going for the chip damage, I don't really see a way of him coming back. He's giving us more and more damage with the Miner. He does go Queen opposite, so I'm just going to go test the bridge. I know he might try to protect the queen, but I feel like Tesla's is purely there just to protect my other tower. So it's going to force him to go um, rocket opposite lane, and then he also has a queen valve coming down. But then again, he did, I know he doesn't want to push Expo into the lane that doesn't have a lot of health. So it looks like he will, so I can really just go for a rocket, 
and I get a lot of value hitting the Expo and the Queen, so I can just go Miner in the front and go for a pre-log. Um, looks like he's also going to play Cannon at zero. So again, guys, the chip damage is adding up, and I guess by going Tesla and opposite lane, he's forced to rocket. My he's forced to rocket into the lane that I'm pushing into, which honestly is pretty good. So he doesn't go Tesla in the lane that he's rocketing. And wow, okay, looks like he's actually gonna give up. I'm not really too sure. I mean, I guess he could have won, but you know, I'll just take a free win. Uh, do you just summon all? Again, you guys see how kind of easy it is. Like as long as as long as the Expo doesn't catch your miners and get a lot of chip damage, you should be okay. So I'll probably just cut into the next match. Looks like you're facing uh, Barn Drew from Gladiators SV. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know this guy, or like I have a, I have a friend named Barn. I'm not really too sure if it's, it's actually him because I don't I don't recognize the clan that he's in. But if this is Giant Sparky, then it definitely is him. But we are in end season, so I can't really tie. I'm just gonna play it out. So let's see. Just gonna go for Dark Prince in the back. So if this is Giant Sparky, then you guys know it's a pretty free matchup. It doesn't really matter who it is. Like even if it's like Muhammad Light or Moogie. I definitely think that <laughs> Minor Control has like 100 O basically. So he goes for a mini P.E.K.K.A. Musket Musketeer push, but I can only just go for Log Delivery. Should just clean everything up. And I think this is Barn. So this is a pretty easy matchup. He is pretty low, so if I somehow lose this, I lose a 42. But hopefully I don't. So you guys, um... So you guys know, if I ever face a free matchup, it's either story time or scene. But you know, I'll, I'll, I always see like a lot of questions about me asked in the comments. So I'll just like go through like some questions and just answer them as like the time goes and hopefully I just don't choke while talking. Anyways, someone just asked, um, if you weren't allowed to play Mind Control, which what deck would you play? I mean if you guys didn't know, it's actually like a minor wall beers one trick, so if if I like if I was I guess if I was banned from playing Mind Control, then I'll prob probably just run go back to running minor wall breakers. So yeah, that's the answer to that first question. Uh, next question is what do you enjoy for doing hobbies outside of CR? So to be honest, I don't really, I guess, I, I mean, I like to read and I like to watch anime. I do play some COD Mobile. To be honest, I, I guess I sound, sound accounts like I'm like a no-life for doing that. But you know, guys, I I wasn't really like a social butterfly, I guess, in, 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 high, in high school is what, I mean, is what I'm trying to say. So I didn't, didn't really make a lot of friends. So I guess I like to read, I like to watch anime, and then I, I just play some light COD Mobile sometimes. Uh, what grade do you study in? So like as of now guys, I'm actually a freshman in college. I actually finished my uh, first semester, or no, yeah, I finished two semesters in college, so I'm in like my summer one right now, or no, no, no. I finished my first semester, and right now I'm about to do my second semester in summer. Um, are there any non you can, you you enjoy to, you enjoy to play? Uh, to be honest, I don't really enjoy anything that's not minor. I guess that's the perks or cons of being a minor one trick. I like I can run other decks, guys. Like I do enjoy like drill, I guess, since like Asaf's a really close friend of, friend of mine. But I think overall, I'd probably just rather just play minor because it's just a lot of fun. And I've been one tricking it since the start of like my Clash Royale career, I guess, or just playing overall. I did I did one trick Expo at one point, so I guess I'm an Expo lover at heart sometimes as well. Uh, do you think you can beat any deck with minor control if you play perfectly? Let me think. There are like a lot of bad magic for mind control. I would say like some of them are like Loon Cycle or Giant Graveyard and like Recruits Pigs. But like overall, I think if you if you like give someone like Muhammad Light minor control, I think he can be any matchup. Like even even Golem Cage Lightning. Thoughts on Inferno Tower and Low Ladder? So I can I get this question a lot asking me, Nate, like do you prefer Tesla? Do you prefer Inferno? Like which one is better is in mid ladder? Because I know like most of you guys are like are in like the mid ladder range. And like I always answer this question, but I always get like they always you guys always ask the same question. So again, guys, you guys always see me switching between Tesla and Inferno, and this is the final answer that I'm probably gonna give, or that's the only answer I'm gonna give is that it's personal preference. I honestly think you guys probably would prefer probably mid ladder Eye Tower because you know like I don't know what you guys face in mid ladder like maybe like E Barbs, Mega Knight, Prince or something like that. But like some like re like really weird crazy decks. So honestly, I would probably just run Inferno and like if you're bored then I recommend you run Tesla but those are my thoughts on that so anyways let's see the next question how's my day going honestly I'm tired and like sometimes like I feel like I'm losing motivation when I uh, upload ladder because you know like mid like top ladder does like burn burn me out guys you guys didn't know like people like Aragon Riley and like Kenny and like shock or shock doesn't upload and we're, like best like top ladder does take a lot out of us if you guys like didn't know like you can't just like always upload like top ladder for like 30 minutes long 
but you know whenever like i like go to my comments because i do read comments guys and i always see you guys like supporting me it always like i guess it makes me like want to do better and just upload better so i appreciate already all you guys i guess kind of like a sappy moment but you know it's true uh do you count elixir how do you practice that so honestly with counting elixir guys i guess it just comes with like I don't know, like whenever the game starts, just know that your opponent and you are a 10 elixir and then whatever they play after that, you just count in your mind. Like sometimes obviously you don't really want to count an elixir for like every second of the game. But you know, it's just, I guess it's just something you practice and like as you practice, like you'll certainly adapt to that. So going back to this game, this game is pretty much over. I guess you use the barn, you can see there's not much you can really do. I guess at one point he did like try, like he almost over overwhelmed me with a push. But I have so many answers to his deck, there's not much you can do. So yeah, I guess GG's the barn, and I'll probably just see you guys in the next match of the vid. Alright, so it looks like we're actually facing the next game against Gravity. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy like used to be like an old Lava Loon player. I do, rec I do rec rec recognize his name. So if this is Lava Tombstone, this is not a very good matchup. I'm pretty sure this guy's running the... He's running the Mighty Miner version with Tombstone, Skelly Drags, a Fireball Zap. So this is like OG Lava Loon, but he has Mighty Miner. I'm not really too sure about this matchup. I know it's really bad for Miner because I have Tesla and he can really just fireballs at my Tesla whenever he wants. So let's see, I'm just gonna go low log here. I guess whenever you face off with Tombstone guys, you always want a low log because the Tombstone is pretty annoying. So I think Tombstone, Tombstone is gonna pop, so he can't really ignore my Dark Prince, although I wouldn't be surprised if he did. It looks like he's gonna go for Zap here. So I immediately need to apply pressure off the lane. He's gonna go for Miner uh, Skeletons to force out, I guess, more Elixir from, from him. So let's see, I wouldn't be surprised if he fireballs my Tesla, so it looks like he will. So let's see, he's gonna go for Dark Prince on his Skelly Drags, I will probably have to ignore that Lava. But I don't think he can ignore my Dark Prince, he's probably like Tombstone, which is perfect. So he's not able to support the Lava, and if he does, I can really just rocket it. So he's gonna go for Log here, just for the chip damage, and then just go for Tombstone, I mean go for Delivery on the Lava Pups. <coughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if he goes, um... Loon, like, loon, loon the bridge just to force out a rocket because that will put me down one elixir. So, just gonna for skeletons in the back and then just go for miner. I know he's back to mighty miner, so hopefully. He okay, looks like he won't play it, so he's probably gonna play on my dark prince. So, let's see, I placed a uh, five and eight, so he placed, <coughs> I guess it's a eight for seven trade, so he is up one elixir, so I guess that's okay. He's probably gonna go lob at the back here or like use his ability and then go loon, so let's see. Go for East Spirit on the Mega Minion and Mighty Miner. He looks like he's gonna go for um lava in the back lava in the back again. But I can really just go for Dark Prince and then go for Miner. I know he's not back to Tombstone, or he might be back to it now. He looks like he's not. So Dark Prince should connect for at least two hits, one more possibly. Okay, well, it looks like Dark Prince actually connected for a lot of damage, so I'd say it's pretty good for me. I'm gonna go test a little bit of high here. I do want to force out a fireball from him. It looks like I will. So I'm just go for East Spirit Skeletons and then go for Miner uh, go Miner Dark Prince again to apply uh, pressure. And just go for another Tesla here. And you guys can see that by going opposite lane, I guess just applying pressure, he's not able to really put up a secure, like, I guess a good Lava Hound push. So, we're actually in the damage zone somehow by 500 damage. So I guess the minor damage is adding up. But now I just have to be careful here just finding his next push. I definitely don't want to waste um, my uh, E Spirit because I want to save it for the Skelly Drags. So you guys can see that by going opposite lane, I'm like, literally just, I guess, applying the, the perfect pressure. So let's see, he does have a nice counter push coming down, but those cousins high for the Mega Minion. E Spirit opposite lane. He does go for Zap here. So then go for Miner the front to bring back the Mega Minion. I know he's gonna pop his ability right now, but it's for Dark Prince last second. Delivery. Okay, wow, that was a really nice delivery on my end. I can just go for um, Log and just go for Tesla for the Loon. He can't ignore my Dark Prince as you guys can see. So I'm just gonna go Miner E Spirit right away to apply pressure so he can't support his uh, Loon push. Loon's already dead, and then also go Skeletons to bring back the Mega Minion. So I think so far this is like pretty much a perfect game. You guys like always ask me like how do you beat Lava Loon? It's like really hard. Well I guess this is how you beat it. Hopefully I don't choke. So again, he goes for a naked loon, but I'm just gonna go for a Dark Prince opposite lane again to apply pressure. So he's forced to answer with the Mighty Miner. I'm going for E Spirit here to maybe deny hits. It looks like he goes for Zap, so that will kill my Tesla, but I can only go Miner in the back. He does catch the tombstone, so well played on his end. But I think if I just go Dark Prince opposite and just keep on applying pressure, he's not able to go lava the bridge here. So you guys can see that by going Dark Prince Bridge, he's not really able to, to connect, so he's also forced to miss Skelly Drags. Secondly, just go for East Spirit to connect, and then go for Miner, and then go for Delivery on his push. He's also forced to Fireball here. So at this point, guys, we're in Triple Elixir, and you guys don't know what time it is. He does go for Loon, 
but I don't really do anything. I can just go for East Spirit and then go for Delivery to be safe. And also does play into my Skelly Drive, so Delivery should clean everything up. And just like that, guys, I should be GG. Let's go for uh, Minor Log. Just give him a thumbs up, because this is really the hard matchup. So honestly, a pretty nice win, and I'll probably just uh, see you guys in the last match of the vid. Alright guys, hopping in the last match of the vid, looks like we're actually facing a Starry. Oh no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this guy runs a Golem, Cage, Lightning, Night Witch. So like I was like I actually was just talking about this earlier. This is a really terrible matchup. Honestly, I'm not really too sure how I'm gonna like expect myself to win this, but who really knows? Let's just see. Out of like a, I might like pull a miracle and win. So it does go baby drive in the back. So honestly, I know he has Golem, Night Witch, Lightning, but I kinda have to do this. It's like I'm only way of getting damage early. He also goes for a Wait, that was a really well placed bar barrel. I didn't know that was gonna connect, but okay. Thank god he didn't activate King. So he also has to overcommit a NATO and a Golden Knight on my Fortix or car. So honestly, not too bad for not too bad for first trade, I guess. But now I can just go delivery on this Golden Knight. So he, he did just waste NATO, so I'm actually gonna go in the front. I feel like going to mine in the back is too predictable. And he also does though waste his Golden Knight ability. So honestly, if he's pretty connecting he doesn't get a King Tower activation, I honestly say it's a pretty good start. We are up like up like a thousand and a hundred damage, one thousand one point one damage basically. But like I'm not really sure how I'm gonna defend once he goes uh, goal in the back. So he's gonna go Dark Prince to apply pressure. I know it's gonna be force play night, which is which is completely fine on my end. So even if he, even if he goes goal in the back here, I should be able to defend because he doesn't really have the right cards to support a goal and push. So this gonna go minor in the safe spot, obviously, because I know I'm pretty sure he's back to NATO almost. So once again, he's gonna go for the E Spirit chip, and then if he does go for King Activation, okay, looks like he won't. Looks like he's gonna block the Golden Knight. So he's going for Skeletons for the Golden Knight, and then go for Dark Prince, because I know he wants to pop his ability, and let's see what he's gonna do. He does go for Baby Dragon here, so he does use ability, and if my delivery comes out in time, please. Okay, looks like my delivery won't come down in time, so Baby Dragon will get uh, four Belchers on my tower. Which is pretty unfortunate, I really don't want to give up like any damage in single. But let's just see, he doesn't go for log here. He's probably just going to go golem in the back right now. He goes for night witch, not really too sure what that's about, he's going to go dark prince in the back. He's probably going to go golem in the back, yeah, probably reset here. So let's see, how am I going to defend this? I'm going to go minor log first, I want I want the chip damage. And I'm probably just going to go east spirit bridge to see if he wants to play anything else, and then go for tessa right now. Okay, now the question is, he's definitely gonna lightning this. Oh no, okay, um, so go for skeletons. He's gonna lightning this right now. It okay, looks like he's not going to. Um, lightning? Okay, he does pop his ability, but I'd say a pretty bad ability because his golem's already dead. And uh, somehow we survived his first push. So let's see, gonna wait for the dragon to lock onto my Dark Prince. And then go for Tesla here. He does go for a really aggressive uh, golem. I don't think he's enough for lightning, and if he does, it won't really do anything. Go for East Spirit first. I think log delivery should kill this knight, which I hope. Okay, it actually does. Honestly, pretty pretty false defense. I'm not really too sure what he's doing. I don't think going off the lane is the wave. But truly really knows we did a really good start and uh really good start in double I guess in single elixir. So doesn't go minor to apply pressure. I know he wants to go goal on the bridge. It looks like he will. Okay, thankfully he wastes gold knight's ability, so I can go East Spear on this Mega Minion and just go for another Tesla here. I feel like even if he lightnings, it won't do anything. He doesn't have my Dark Prince shield, but I can only just go delivery log. Oh, he's gonna get kind of rough here. I hope this golem dies. Okay, go for East Spirit first. I think go for Tesla. The tower should be turned to Mega Minion. And even though he went lightning, I was still good, pretty good defense somehow. So he does go for Baby Dragon, so I'm <coughs> actually gonna go mine in the back here. I want I wanna force him to NATO this. So let's see if he does. Okay, looks like he won't. He's actually gonna let my miner connect, so I can go for skeleton splits. And just go for another Tesla here, and then go for East Spirits, so his Force Play Night Witch. And somehow we made it all the, all the way to Triple Elixir without losing my tower. And then he also goes for a really weird Lightning, but I can just go for Minor Log. And it looks like he's just gonna ignore a Miner. And at this point, it should be GG. Okay, wow, I'm not really sure again how he defended. Baby, Baby Dragon does Log, but I can just go for Delivery. And just like that, that should be GG. And I guess that's how you beat Golem Night Witch. I'm kinda shocked on how he surprised, on how he won that somehow, but uh, he's just sorry. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and it's been Nate, and I will see you guys later.